Now we want to display shopping cart details under cart tab. So here we have right division tag with it is equal to order table. Under this tag we will display shopping cart details and by using this it we will display shopping cart details under jQuery code. Under this tag we have create one table with table column like product name, quantity, price, total and action. This way we have right table heading. Then after we have right of statement with condition like not empty dollar session shopping cart variable, this condition will check the dollar session shopping cart variable has some value or not, if it has some value then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have right dollar total variable is equal to zero, we will use this variable for calculate total of shopping cart and display under shopping cart table. Then after we have right for each loop with dollar session shopping cart variable as dollar keys arrow dollar values, by using for each loop we can fetch keys and values of this dollar session shopping cart array. Under this loop we open and close table row tag and under this tag we have right 5 table data tag. In first table data tag we want to display product name so we have right dollar values product name variable. This will print product name. In second table data tag we want to display product quantity so we have right dollar values product quantity variable. This will print product quantity in second table data tag. In third table data tag we want to display product price so we have right dollar values product price variable. This will print product price in third table data tag. In fourth table data tag we want to display total price of product. So here we have right number format function and under this function we have right dollar values product quantity into dollar values product price with two decimal point. This will print total price under this table data tag. In last table data tag we want to show product remove button. So under this tag we have right button tag with attribute name is equal to delete class is equal to delete and it is equal to dollar values product it and button text is equal to remove. We have store product it under it attribute of this button. We will fetch product it from this attribute in jQuery code. Then after we have right dollar total variable is equal to dollar total variable plus dollar values product quantity into dollar values product price. This way we will get total of whole shopping cart product. Now we want to show total of whole shopping carts so we have again right open and close table row tag and between this tag we have right three table data tag and in second tag we have right number format function and under this function we have right dollar total variable with two decimal point. This way we have display all shopping cart product details in table format. Friends you can see that all product has been display on web page with add to cart button when we have click on any product add to cart button then we have received product added into cart and in cart tab we can see one product when we have click on cart tab then under this tab we can see shopping cart product with name price quantity and remove button. By clicking on this button we can remove any product which we do not want to buy. So we can remove that product by click on this remove button. So we have right jQuery code for remove product from cart. So in jQuery code we have right dollar document as select with on method and under this method we have right click event with button class name delete with function. When we have click on remove button then this code will be execute. Under this first we have define one product it variable is equal to dollar this attribute method with id attribute. Here we can get product it which we have store and remove button id attribute by using attribute method and that product it we have store into this product it variable. After this we have write variable action is equal to remove. Here we have define remove value to action variable. 
we will use this variable value in PHP code for product remove action. Now we want to show confirm button after we have click on remove button so for this we have write if statement with confirm with message like are you sure you want to remove this product. This code will generate confirm box with this message with two button like OK and cancel when we have click on cancel button then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write return false. That means no action will be performed. But suppose we have click on OK button of message box then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write Ajax request and under Ajax request first we have write URL set to action.php page and then after we have set method to post. After this we have defined data type to JSON because we will receive data from server in JSON format and we have also defined which data we want to send to server under data option. Here we have send product and action variable data has been sent to server. Lastly in Ajax request we have success callback function. This function will receive data from server in JSON format. Here we will receive shopping cart details in table format and how many product we have added into cart. This data we will receive from server. So we want to display shopping cart details in table with it order so we have write dollar order table it with HTML method and under this method we have write data dot order table variable. This will display shopping cart details under table with it order table. Then after how many product in shopping cart, this number we want to show under cart tab badge. So we have write dollar badge class with text method and under this method we have write data dot cart item variable. This will show number of product added into cart that display under cart tab badge. Now we have write PHP code under action dot PHP for remove product from shopping cart. Under this page here we have write of statement with condition like dollar post action variable is equal to remove. This condition will check if dollar post action variable value is equal to remove then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write for each loop with condition like dollar session shopping cart variable as dollar keys arrow dollar values. By using for each loop we can access keys and values for this dollar session shopping cart variable. Then after under this loop we have write if statement with condition like dollar values producted variable is equal to dollar post producted variable. Here dollar values producted variable is a variable of dollar session shopping cart variable and this condition check if dollar values producted variable value is equal to dollar post producted variable value then it will execute this if block of code. Under this block we have write unset function and under this function we have write dollar sessions shopping cart with dollar keys. This unset function will destroy this dollar session shopping cart dollar keys array variable and this will remove product details of this matched producted from this dollar shopping cart variable. And in below which we have already write for displaying product shopping cart details in table format and store in one order table variable and we have also count number of product added into cart and store into cart item variable and both variable data has been stored into one dollar output variable and then after we have convert this variable data in JSON format by using this JSON encode function and send to Ajax request. This way updated shopping cart data has been display under cart tab without page refresh. So friends our code is ready so we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends you can see that product tab on cart tab with displaying zero, this determined number of product added into cart. In product table we can see list of product with add to cart button.
when we have click on any product add to cart button then after we have received product has been added into cart and on cart tab there is zero value sent to one that means we have one product added into cart and when we have click on cart tab under this tab we can see product details which we have added into cart with details like name quantity price and remove button without page refresh because we have used ajax method for adding product into cart we can remove product by click on remove button. Now we have again go to product tab. Suppose we want to add more than one quantity of particular product, so we can change value of quantity under text box and we can add product in cart. So when we have check cart tab then we can see that product with quantity which we have defined while add into cart. In this cart we can show whole cart total also. Suppose we have added one product more than one time, then that product quantity will be added into previous quantity of that product, this way reduce chances of adding duplicate product in shopping cart. Suppose we want to remove any product from shopping cart so we have go to cart tab and under cart tab we can see product order details and under details we can see different product with remove button by click on remove button we can remove any product from shopping cart. This all event has been done without page refresh event because we have used Ajax request with query. In this shopping cart we have first make tab for display list of product in one tab on shopping cart details and second tab. For making tab we have used bootstrap framework. After making tab we have load product details from database under product. With product we have also add on add to cart button. For add product into cart we have used query with Ajax method. By using Ajax request we can add product into cart without page refresh and product has been added into cart. For check shopping cart we have click on cart tab and under this tab we can see product details which we have added into cart in table format. We can also remove product from cart also, for removing product from cart also we have used query with Ajax method, so we can remove product from cart without refresh. In this shopping cart we have create one session variable and we have store all details in that session variable, so we have store all product data on web page when we have put order then after that data will add it into the cart. So this is my simple video tutorial for multi-tab shopping cart by using jQuery with Ajax, Bootstrap, PHP and MySQL. If you like this video tutorial, please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video tutorial on social media also. You can also find source code of this video tutorial under video description also. Friends if you want to get more update of my video tutorial, so you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page or you can also follow Webslisten on Twitter.